welcome to Dad Does, and today we are looking at the DaVinci Mini Maker 3D Printer by XYZ Printing. This is a very affordable 3D printer. In fact, it retails for just $249. So that's why we're looking at it. Can you get a decent 3D printer at the under $250 price point? That is what we are about to find out. So giving you a look at it, it's colorful, definitely geared towards kids. When you look at this, this does not look like super imposing, really techy. The bright primary colors, I think kids are really going to like. Setup was pretty easy. You do have to attach uh, the filament spool on the side. You have to thread through a couple of things, attach up the print head, uh, but you know, pretty simple stuff I was able to do in about 10 minutes, five to 10 minutes. So sure, when I'm back here, you've got the power switch, has a cable you, where you plug in the printer cable there into your USB on your Mac or PC. And this is not wireless, you do need a cable. And then the power jack there where you're going to plug in the power for this. Uh, in terms of build size, that's how big a thing can you print in this thing? About six inches, 5.9 by 5.9 by 5.9. Let's just call it six inches. So you've got about a six inch by six inch by six inch volume in it. These 3D printers do require cleaning and some care. So they give you the tools here. Uh, this right here is just to scrape off your object once it's printed. We'll talk more about that. But then the rest of these really about, you can clean the nozzle in there. Uh, there's a leveling tool there. So what's going on in case you don't know, what's, you've got a filament, and that's the plastic that you saw on that uh, spindle there, and it gets heated up uh, to a very high temperature, melts it, and then the print head basically prints that plastic and then it dries and turns solid. So because of all that, because things are being heated and drying, does take some cleaning, so that's why they give you these tools. Let's jump into the software. So XYZ Wear, free software they give you, and pretty cool, you can load up an object. We're showing up a kind of test object here. Look at it at all the different angles, zoom in, kind of the, the basic stuff, you know, not the most user-friendly software, but the basic stuff, I'm gonna show you how I can zoom in and spin around and look at all the different angles. So lots of different 3D objects. You can either create yourself with the XYZ Maker, there's some software for that, but of course you can load up a whole bunch of 3D objects. We're gonna show you the gallery. Um, iPhone cases, all types of stuff like that, but just showing you kind of what you can do some here in the software. Showing you here is, we have this actually printing right now, so you've got this print window, tells you what's going on, it's pretty cool, it tells you about the heat, 202 degrees Celsius in there, how much uh, filament we have left, 99 out of 100 meters, so just a, a, just the basics of kind of what you'd expect out of a normal printer, same deal with a 3D printer, except tells you about heat and filament and things like that. Gonna go back in here uh, and just show you this object, also gives you a lot of detail, so you can see all the details about the object, get a better idea of its height in inches or millimeters or however you want to measure it out. Uh, but just to give you a better idea of what's going on, now showing some of the zooming features here. So you can zoom in, take a look at it. And we're showing you this, because this is the actual one we're printing. So in a little bit later in this video, you will see this printed out and you can compare it to this 3D rendering of it. So um, like I said, there are a lot of different objects you can load up here. Um, the, you know, the exact uses you'll use for 3D printing is based on your skill. And again, this is a $250 printer. We'll have all the specs below, but it's not going to be, you know, the most fine detail. It's not going to be the fastest, anything like that. It's more about introducing kids um, and adults to kind of the basics of 3D printing and understand the concepts of uh, 3D design. So going over to the XYZ printing site here in the 3D gallery, we'll just give you an idea here. So a lot of different stuff you can print from jewelry to to uh, toys to smartphone um, accessories. So a lot of different stuff. Most of it is free. So that's pretty cool. It's kind of a neat feeling to pick something out, print it out, and have a physical object. Does take a while. It's not like in two minutes. It's going to be hours. But showing you here some of these iPhone 7 cases. So you can pick one of these and then print it out. Some cool stuff like a sound bar here where you put it in and amplifies the sound. So people have come up with some neat stuff. A stand for your phone or tablet. And of course you can design your own. So I mean that is the idea once you get good at it. But when you start out you probably just want to pick an object and start printing. Speaking of which, here we are. We have started printing that object we were looking at before. What we're going to do is, this takes a while. This simple object, and you'll see at the end, took about an hour. If you wanted to print out one of those more advanced cases, you might be looking at four hours. We want to make you really aware of it. This stuff takes a while. Showing how it works here, just really slowly, it's pulling up the filament. You don't have to do anything once you set it to print. It's kind of fascinating to watch, but you can even turn off your computer. Once it's all uploaded to the printer, just leave it for hours and let it go. Um, we're going to speed things up here because this would take a while. So this is now in fast motion, I think four times speed. And we're just going to give you an idea of how it prints. It, it's pretty cool to watch because layer by layer it is building this thing. So at first you're like, uh, what's it doing? But you'll see here, see it's kind of building it thicker, thicker, thicker. And it's just kind of impressive that this all works. The precision on it that you're able to do it. As you see here, it's 
now getting almost done here and we're going to come to the end and we'll show you how we pull it off here but like i said this took about an hour we're speeding up don't want to deceive anyone i just want to kind of show you the printing that's fun to watch um here it is coming out so it, it, it there's a satisfying feeling when your 3d printed object comes off of your printer so here it is we're going to talk more in a little bit i mean it didn't work perfectly the first time we'll go over that now we're going to use a little tool here to get it off what we did is we put a little bit of glue on the pad there because it was moving on us at first, that's one of the suggestions to take um, a glue stick and just put it on there. It holds it on. That's what happened a couple of times when we first tried it, was it was starting to move our object before it's fully printed and I kind of screwed it up. So there it is. We're gonna give you a close up to show it to you now. And it's pretty good. Again, remember, this is a $250 retail printer, and this is pretty good detail. Again, we have the specs blow. You're not gonna do like precision, you know, like medical equipment on this. You'll see that there it's not perfect in every way, but look at the different detail it has here. This took about an hour, and obviously this is just kind of an example. You could build a lot of cool kind of toys, accessories, uh, just neat things like that. And the kids will have fun just designing stuff. And it's a whole new concept kind of designing in 3D. Now, as we said, didn't work perfectly the first time. Here's what we got. And then we tried it again and we got another one which was slightly off. So there is calibration necessary. Do check out the frequently asked questions. Um, you know, you can email them for support. So uh, don't get frustrated. It does take a little bit of time to get it right. But once you do get it, it's, it does really tend to work pretty well. But I just wanted to point that out. It takes a little bit of time to get it set up the first time. Just going to uh, run you through the site quickly to kind of go over some of the features here. So like we said, price is a big feature at 249 A big learning aspect to this. I talked about the Steam, as we talked about the XYZ Maker and the 3D Gallery. So, But it's they're, they're really trying to get kids to learn about designing in the 3D world. And there's a lot there when you get into XYZ axes and um, really it's kind of very interesting when you get into that whole design. So really kind of billing it as your first 3D printer. Small printer, big ideas, like we said, six inch by six inch by six inch, basically 5.9 to be exact. Eco-friendly, which is cool, biodegradable, the filament, uh, non-toxic, which of course is great. Um, so really that's kind of the marketing of this. If you have younger kids, all the specs are here and we'll go more over that in the uh, description below. But the uh, we found the Da Vinci Mini Maker to be pretty cool. If you have young kids, it's gonna be a good introduction and the price is definitely right. Take your time, learn it, email them with questions, get the calibration, get things set up, and then you're gonna have fun with it. Come on over to Dad Does.